Well, Glenn, the police say they're still waiting for toxicology test results on Mackenzie Cochran, and the chief says there's still a lot he cannot say because this is still an active investigation. What we're waiting for is for the medical examiner to receive those toxicology results and then to give us a completed investigation a completed report of the investigation. It's the first time since the death of Mackenzie Cochran at Northland Mall that we are hearing from the Southfield Police Chief Mayor and City Council President. They said they wanted to assure people that the security guard's confrontation with Cochran is being investigated fully and fairly. It was 13 days ago that Cochran was pepper sprayed outside of L.A. Diamonds in the mall. Store employees called security after they say Cochran said he wanted to kill someone. But what the chief isn't ready to say is what, if anything, happened to cause one of the security guards to use the pepper spray. Chief Eric Hawkins did say that mall security made two calls to police. The first to report that something was happening, the next call to say that they needed a medic. Police arrived in just eight minutes to find Cochran not breathing and with barely a pulse. And prior to officers arriving, no security guard had administered any sort of first aid. And these detectives are, they will comply with my mandate that all investigations, whether it's a loss of life or petty theft, are handled fairly, impartially, and without bias. This investigation will be no different. In the city of South want everyone to feel safe in this community. And one of the ways you feel safe is knowing that you have a police department that will take every incident and investigate it and make sure that we get the person if there is a crime uh, committed. And police say they're still hopeful to hear from anyone else who may have witnessed the confrontation or took some, some sort of video on their cell phone. And Glenda, once they get those lab results on the toxicology testing, once they get those returned to them, they say they'll forward their case to the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office for review. Back to you.